One of the things I hate the most is waste. Wasted time, effort, fabric, money, and so on. Waste was one of the main reasons I haven't sewn any of the pattern magic styles. I just can't see myself wearing these clothes, although I really, really like them. Another reason is that I don't speak any Japanese. Um, have you ever heard the saying, if you wait by the river long enough, the bodies of your enemies will float by? Well, in some strange way, it resonates with this situation. I waited so long to make these Japanese styles that the obstacles stopping me from making them floated down the river. Now I don't need to create any ways to make clothes because I make them in 3D. Think about it. Make all the styles and feel no guilt. And on top of this, now I can use Google Translate, so here's my Japanese problem gone. So I've decided to not only create all these cool Japanese guilt-free clothes, I will record myself making them, because why not? So, if you want to follow along, you can download a PDF bodice blog or a cloth 3D project file. See the Gumroad link in the video description. All videos and files are in metric system, just like the books. So, if you are interested in cloth 3D and 3D prototyping and want to learn more, I have a course for beginners on Udemy you might be interested in. You will find a link to the course in the video description too. So, let's get started. So, today I've decided to start with a circular dart top, which would be probably the first top in the Pattern Magic book right here. So, we have a cut here and then a circular dart and the bust darts and the waist darts all transferred into it. So, let me and get rid of this and here is the actual top well this, this is a process of doing it so we have to start with the bunker bodice i already have bunker bodice here you can download your bodice and just follow the link in the description i'm going to put it aside so we can see what's happening so, the first thing we have to do is to create one bodice. So, we need one bodice with that um, seam in the middle. So, let me just move this girl aside and just do that. Okay, so merge. And while I'm at it, I'll just close these ones as well. Okay. I'll just um, rotate it back up. Y axis that I just created. So now we have the front. One front. So next part is that I need to create a circle. I have to draft a circle that cuts off slightly the tips of my darts. So what I'll do, just make it bigger and we'll go and get ourselves internal ellipse. Right. Right, that looks good. So we'll cut off a little bit of the darts. Here we go. Right, so the circle is done next step is it's cut out here as you can see cut out so it, it looks like it's it's still attached at this part but later on we will need to deal with this little dart situation so it make it slightly easier for us i think it's easier to cut out the whole circle first and um, do all the manipulations necessary and then just reattach it here. We'll see how it works. So, let's go and cut this. 
So here's our circle here. And now all the dots are closed. Yes, everything we can is closed, so let's go and fix this. Merge the bus dot. Then remember that we have here the cut, so I'll just cut this open. I will merge this part and get rid of this bit here. This line, as you can see. And last one here. Merge. Right. So, next step, we have to deal with this little, um, little remaining darts here. So, Bunker says that we need to close them and then kind of just shave off a little bit here. It looks like they're not really worried with the uh, this little waste darts here, so I'll just do the same thing as them. I'll just get rid of those. It would be the same as shortening the dart. Now, I would like to close this, so first of all I will clone it as a reference to get me some reference line. Then once I close this by removing the point, I'll still have this little bit. So it says here, just do it like that. And that's what I'll be doing. And basically just make that part a little bit less curved. I'll just do it this way. And then I'll go and curve it out a bit. So looks like we could probably move it here and see curve it something like that shave off little bits and bobs all right and the same thing here so they're identical so i'll probably just copy and paste that <coughs> It, so I'll just move it this way. Yep. Right, and after this, what we can do is shave off those little bits, just that part. So I'll just cut it. But of course, now we don't have the reference. So wait a minute. Before I cut it, I need to know where this point is so we can later on sew this bit here to this point. So I will probably add a little notch at this part here. This is where it was. Now let's see if it works. Hopefully our notch is not going to disappear. Cut. Which is still there. Weird place, but okay, fine. Still there. And I think we just lost one of the. Ah, oh, it's not relevant here anyway, so let's do this. Cut. And get rid of the bit. Good. Uh, I don't like this notch sticking out in a weird place. Let's flip it again. Okay, cool. Now we have that and this. It looks already 
pretty good in here, but we're still not finished. First, we need to attach it back to here because this part of the seam, this part is not sewn, it's just the one pattern piece. Mm -hmm. Like this, just here. So it's like a question mark this way. So I will go and 1267 okay no it's not 12 this we need to attach it to this part so I'll just add a point 1441 is that right yeah perfect cool right let's see if we can do it let's merge this to this cool it worked perfectly fine now next thing so here we got rid of this we don't need the internal line here what we do need is to make sure it's everything is sewn because right now if we simulate this it just falls out so we'll just go to our sewing tool and sew this part no first of all we need to get rid of these little bits here little leftover sewing from before one this part to two to this part right and of course this little bit here okay now we will try and see what it looks like boom oh, that looks pretty good the kind of top that very unusual you can still see the dots that we have closed there I think it's pretty good and this is our first bunker pattern magic top thank you for watching and I'll see you next time